We did see power outages um, early this morning, four o'clock we came in and 21,000 without power with Duke Energy. Do we have those power outage numbers that we can bring up to show uh, the latest situation? I can also, you know, and with right those here. outages in Pinellas County, 26,000, right it's up now. to 26,000 now. And you had all those Duke line workers stationed at the Tropicana Field where Jenny mm -hmm. Dean was earlier this morning, ready to deploy as they're needed. They have crews up in Wildwood. Right. Uh, Tico similarly had yep. up to what uh, 3,000 uh, line workers. They did 3,000 ready to go, uh, like workers of all, you know, uh, linemen. Yes. You also have the bucket trucks, you have yep. um, the, you know, tree workers, all of the equipment and everything that's needed. Looking, speaking of Tico, yes. real quick, what I have the, the numbers up from Tico right here. And looking at, um, Probably close to 2,000, maybe 3, more 3,000 yeah. um, without power. Um, yep, and there you go right there. This would be, this is Tico, so this is exactly what I'm looking at here on my computer. And you can see um, which areas are are most impacted. You've got maybe South not. Tampa, but really it was more, yeah, it was more like um, town and country. Okay, oh, so me. let's go ahead, if you if you all can, please bring up um, Bobby's mic. Um, uh, and Chief Meteorologist Bob and Amanda, and Amanda. And Amanda. I'll go ahead and drive. Okay, so Amanda Papp is saying that the storm is making landfall here as we speak. We're going to switch over to her and uh, her map here as soon as we can so we can show you that uh, up in the Big Bend area here.